Hello YouTube. It's about oh, 9.30 in the morning. We're going to start a little fire. We cleaned out our stove. We got our little galvanized bucket. And we'll leave that set in here somewhere. Like maybe off in here. Even though I don't think there's any coals. Never just go dump it out in the yard so you know that it's all dead. But, and then uh, maybe later we'll show you some of the stuff we're going to be putting in our backpack when we get it. Uh, there are different fire starting materials and all these. Uh, back here, you can't see it to the mesh, my CO2 pistol. Uh, I think we're going to show you that even if we don't fire it. It's pretty old. It's probably made in the late 90s. I bought it in early 2000s. So, we'll show you a little snap of the fire once we get it going. We're just going to start a small fire. Uh, have a few coals. That way when it gets towards the evening, uh, I can always restart it off the coals. So, hang in there. We'll make a little Sunday video here without it being too long. This is one of 16 holes we have to drill today. We're making brackets to lower the steps on a 4x4 because this is jacked up way in the air and we need the steps a little lower. So this is part of the Sunday goof off work. Okay. We're done with the help of the neighbor drill all the 16 holes. They're lowering the steps on the 4x4 because it sets up so high. Uh, so it's easier for his dad to use the step to get in it. Because it's really jacked up. I'll be making a video someday. It's a 78 four wheel drive high boy jacked up. Okay, here's where we're going to use this pouch for. Out of the repurposed laptop bag. We have CO2 cartridges, pellets, BBs. We'll take this out of here first. This is an AutoWare 2 Crossman model AA AA11. Okay, this shoots pellets or BBs. It has a six inch barrel. The barrel does not go all the way down in here. It's a little bit bigger. The barrel doesn't go all the way. This is how you load your pellet. You have to make sure there's no BBs in it. You don't want to shoot a pellet in a BB. It just won't do anything. This will shoot pellets to about six of them with new cartridges and then you're just wasting your time but it holds like about 17 BBs you got your I don't know how good this is showing up on camera I got the camera up here in the airways but you slide this over you load it here and then this flips down and then you'll be like out here when your magazines full but the only thing I've never liked about this is the, is the trigger pull you have to pull it a long ways let me put this up. It'll jam if you don't keep that out of the way. You gotta pull the long ways before it fires. So I'll squeeze the long ways before I actually get ready with my aim. We did paint the front of that with some gray primer, model car paint, adjustable up, down, left, right, on the back, adjustable rear sight. It's plastic, but it I looked it up, one YouTube video, someone made the comment that it was made in the mid 90's. I probably bought this around about early 2000's. I've had it a long time. Well I took it apart, maybe I should have made a video, but I took it apart because you put a cartridge in and leak. If I had to have it leaving like half a cartridge in it, uh, just for the hell of it, you know, I'd get done playing with it. And they say that can damage it, but here's where the cartridge goes in here it's kind of a bear to put this back on there's a little peg in here and you can see I'm fumbling on camera with it there's a little bitty peg in here where it has to go on there there's a little little peg I was off camera a little peg on the thing there and of course that's how you tighten it but we're not going to show it shooting today we just thought we'd show up and take some pictures uh, here's my daisy BB loader okay it has a button on it so when you get it up to the hole, this is how it works. See how it shoots? A few at a time. You can always put them back in, which we're not going to do. Uh, I bought some BBs and this is what they came in. This just was a total joke to me. I cut the tip different diameters. It does not work. I kept back and far. Copperhead. Some people say don't use coated BBs that plugs the gun up. Well, about the only place the dust is going to get in mine, I can kind of spray that out. It's not going to get near the valve or anything. 
So we got some premier. They're just pointed. I could have got the flat wad cutter. And I've seen the ones that are pointed like a hollow point with a point. I'm not familiar with that. Old guy like me. So we just stayed away from them. But that container view is so Of course, then we got our iron ticket up. We got a five pack of cartridges. I can't tell you the price, but there you go with that. Okay, let's see if we can put anything else this Sunday afternoon video. The wind chimes a bang and it feels like it's about March. It's about maybe 50 out right now. We got a little wind chill. I had the stove going. It's kind of smoldered down with a little bit of log in it. So we spent enough time on the BB gun. Let's think we can add something else to this video. Okay, here's a few things that's going to go in my backpack. This is my little sewing kit I'm getting started. I'll just dump it out, put it put it back later. We have some polyester thread, regular thread. We have a small needle for that in there. And this is the center of the paracord. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we already have a piece that's threaded on a needle. This is like two two-foot pieces. This is probably just used for sewing tarps or something because the bigger the needle, the bigger the thread, the harder it is to get to the hole. So, I said, this is just your polyester sewing thread. These are little cardboard things I cut out. And then you can cut a little, I don't know if you can see on it. You can cut a little thing in there to put your thread. Let's see if we can get that focus. It's just something I learned when I was a kid to do. Someone showed me how to do it. But I said, I'll have a few buttons and stuff in there. Okay. All toys. This is what I made the cedar bark, the jute twine, tinder, jute twine. I caught myself. Jute twine. No time to edit. Keep rolling. Uh, we cut off our uh, ferro rod that went in our hatchet and just put the plug back in there so it would fit. So we cut part of it off. There's just a little orange plastic cloth. Uh, we got our little striker made out of our eighth inch lathe bit. We got some tape around it. Keep it moisture proof, not necessarily waterproof. So that'll be going in the backpack. You see it? This has my mop string fire starters in here. So, you people who don't smoke, sorry, you got to see a cigarette box. But hey, it is what it is. This is packaging tape, and it's taped up a lot. And all you got to do is take a razor blade or your knife and cut down here to get this open if you had to use them. Then when you come home you can always retape it. So I, I've cut it open once and added just one strip of tape. So that is pretty waterproof. I mean you could probably throw this in the water. Those mop string fire starters will thaw out. Dry out I should say. Okay. In here there's some small matches. Okay. The night, my nice new Zippo. These are uh, eyedropper bottles. One of them has Zippo fuel. So this lighter's dry, it wasn't wet, I mean it needed filled, but I just put it in here. So there's enough probably to fill it maybe twice, one and a half times. And here is some 91% rubbing alcohol in that one. See? And it says on the bottle, uh, it might even say poison or it says isopropyl. And then the other side I haven't put anything on it. But. And this is a little box that your rivets come in from Harbor Freight. But there is a piece of tape. These are known to clip open. A little piece of nice blue Harbor Freight masking tape. Plug them again. They don't deserve it. Oh, well. I don't get paid by Harbor Freight. Might as well add that. I just like their products. They're cheap. Okay. There's that. This might be the end of this video. So, there's some things when I show you my backpack when we take them out. I'll mention it so you'll know what's in them. So, there you go. I suppose I can show you my tactical lighter. This is my chrome camel zippo. This is your sports tape, your ace tape. See, can you see down there? Like you wrap around your wrist, it's black. This, I got tired of it sliding in my hands this winter. And I bought this tape just to see what I could do with it. So, it, it's more grippy. You can grip it better. Here's my wintertime wick. See how high it is? I have the wick as high as I can. I have it woven through there. That proper way there's videos how to wind it, rewad it, so you always get fuel. This is my wintertime Zippo. I hardly ever use it in the summer because it has a big flame for starting fire. So, there you go. That's just about it. I'll snap a photo of that so you can see what kind of tape that is. So, thanks for watching.